Welcome back. Today I am going to try to put together the math curriculum that we will be using. Again, I do not homeschool our, any of our own kiddos. I homeschool someone else's kiddo and I homeschooled her. Last year, I'm gonna link the other videos in the description box down below if you would like to check those out to find out more information. I'm also gonna link a tour of the, or of my homeschool classroom, but I am going to update it because things have changed with all the curriculum. Anyway, this year we are going to use the Simply Good and Beautiful for level one. And I'm going to show you what I've ordered and what I'm gonna use on my own. Again, I have taught for 15, 16 years and I have a lot of math manipulatives. So I did not order the course box that came with this and I'm gonna show you how I put that box together and I will also link the things I used in the description box down below. We will start with, I guess, what I ordered first, which is this book. It's the student and teacher manual together and the Eater Edition game. I thought I could recreate the subtraction game, but wasn't able to because I'm not familiar with this curriculum, never have used it. So I had to put in an order <laughs> to get that game. I love their boxing. It's so pretty. And it comes very neatly packaged. Here is the Snowy Owl subtraction game and I'll show you where I'm going to put those. So this is what I ordered and now I'm going to show you how I'm going to put the math box together since I did not order it. I have this Sterilite box. I don't know where it came from. It's pretty old. I printed a label that says Callie's math box and then use some packaging tape. I got online on the good and the beautiful and they have a PDF that you can print the tangrams and the wooden pattern block shapes and the boats if you did not want to purchase that. And I'll link that in the description box down below. I'm hoping it's up to date and it's what we will be using in this book. If not, I will tweak it. On Prime Day, I got the wooden pattern blocks. It came with a lot more than I need in these cards, so I will sort those. I also on Prime Day got tangrams. I have a lot of coins, so I just added the coins the program wants them to use. They also wanted these clocks. And I got online and printed the PDF of those. Hopefully they're correct. These little containers are what command hooks come in and they are great to store things in. Let's see here. Printed these and laminated them front and back. In this little container here are, and I did add magnets to these for weight. And then if we wanna use on the magnetic board, maybe. Not sure, again, I haven't used this program. But I printed these little boats from the PDF, the die that they wanted. It's supposed to be wooden, but it's, I guess, plastic. And then a left-right die, which I just took one of my foam ones and used my labeler to make it. And this is the labeler I use, and I'll link it in the description box down below. There's also a clock they want them to use. I have a lot of these when I taught that can spin, so I've added it. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put together her math box so that way when it comes to math time, we can easily grab it and get what we need. First, I am going to sort the wooden pattern blocks. The extras are gonna go in this little plastic box and I already labeled it and I'll show you where it's gonna go. I got the wooden pattern blocks sorted. Looking at this PDF, these are green and the ones I got from Amazon are till. 
I don't think it's gonna matter that much. And I was gonna see what else. I think everything else was close to the same color. Um, this blue may be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna put these in here. And these are the extras. Now the tan grams. The 10 grams are silicone when you order them, but these from Amazon are wooden. I'm hoping this is not gonna be too confusing because the colors are obviously not the same as these. So they want two reds. These are orange. Then for this size, they want green, but these are red. Again, I think we can make do with it. <laughs> And I'll just help her when we get there. So have that. I need another one. I was thinking if whatever the book has for them to use with these, if it doesn't come out correctly, I could always use one of these cards for her. Okay, and then looking at this, I guess, parallelogram, it wants it orange, but... In this it's purple and they want two smaller triangles and then another set of two so I need four to form a square which these are close to the right color blue I need to open this set and then I need one yellow square now I'm gonna put the extras in here. I don't know if she'll need one of these wooden frames, but if so, I can easily pull it out. And the ones that are gonna go in her math box are gonna go in this container. Now I'm gonna put everything into her box. As of now, this is where her math box is gonna go. Right here. And this is her drawer that she'll be able to get her things. And I'll go ahead and add her math book to that. The addition and subtraction games are going to go over here. The extra wooden pattern blocks and cards I'm gonna put in my math drawer. Which we're gonna go under these cards. And then my extra 10 grams are gonna go in the closet. right here with my extra math manipulatives. I apologize if that was choppy, but I wanted to film me putting it together for the very first time. If there's anything I'm missing or you have anything that I can add, please leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you later. Bye.